Welcome back to the Microlearning Institute. In this tutorial, we look at a question from the ACCA F7 paper from June 2013. And we look at question number four, Pulsar. Now, specifically, we're looking at part C of that question, where we're told that at a board meeting, Pulsar's directors made a decision to close down one of its factories on the 31st of March, X3. The factory and its related plant would then be sold. We're also told that the closure of the factory does not meet the criteria of a discontinued operation under IFRS 5. So the first question is, can we generate a provision? So firstly, is there a present obligation on Pulsar? And of course we're told in the question that employees have been given notice and this constitutes what IAS 37 refers to as a constructive obligation. So that is an obligating event which, is the which answers positively the first question with regard to IAS 37, can we generate uh, a provision? Next, the question is, is there a likely outflow of resources? And again, we see in the body of the question that we're going to be paying redundancy and so on, so there is a likely outflow. And thirdly, we need to consider, can we measure this outflow with some reliability? Again, we're given some details about the redundancy arrangements and so on. So yes, even though we can't measure the outflow with absolute accuracy, we can measure it with reliability. So consequently, the fact that we can answer yes to each of these three questions under IAS 37 allows us to recognize a provision. This provision is called a restructuring provision and there are a number of elements to it. The first thing is, we're told that there will be a redundancy. We're told that 50 of the 250 employees will be retrained. However, the remainder will accept redundancy and be paid $5,000 each. So this is a future uh, commitment, future obligation, so we can recognize a provision for that redundancy of $1,000, $1,000 or $1 million. Next up, we're also told that they're going to be retrained. Now, of course, the retraining applies to ongoing future operations, so consequently cannot be included in the calculation of the restructuring provision. Now we have a sale of assets, and again, the assets are going to be held for sale, so they're going to be reclassified to held for sale under IFRS 5. And IFRS 5 says that when we reclassify an asset to held for sale, we remeasure it to the lower of two numbers okay and the two numbers are the carrying amount now we're told the carrying amount is 2.2 million or the fair value less cost to sell and again we're told that it is only expected to sell for five hundred thousand dollars incurring fifty thousand of selling cost so the fair value less cost to sell is only four hundred and fifty thousand dollars so if we need to write the asset down from its current carrying amount of 2.2 million to $450,000, we need to recognize an impairment of $1.75 million. And again, as this repair impairment relates directly to the restructuring, we can include it in the restructuring provision. Next up, we look at the sale of the factory, but of course the sale of the factory is an expected sale in the future, so this has not been realized in the past, so cannot be considered as part of the provision. The rental is what's called an onerous contract. And again, IAS 37 tells us that when we have an onerous contract, we can recognize a provision for the lower of either the, uh, the costs of continuing to rent or the costs of canceling the rental arrangement. And again, we can see from the question that the present value of the future lease payments, i.e. if we continue to rent, is $1 million. However, the lease R has said they will accept $850,000, which would be due for payment on the 30th of April 20X3 if we cancelled the lease. So, in this case, we can recognize a provision for the lower of these two numbers being $850,000. Finally, we're also told that there are some penalty payments due to the non-completion of some contracts. And again, we can recognize these as part of the provision. So overall, we recognize a restructuring provision of $3.8 million in relation to the restructuring of Pulsar. Thank you very much for watching this short tutorial from the Microlearning Institute.